this thing has been squeaking for the longest time because I think the pulley is bad. I've used it a lot and I've had it for like three years. And I'm worried it's gonna snap and then I'm gonna have no serpentine one day. So we went ahead and ordered a new one, new pump. But this time around, we're trying this uh, Cardone, Cardone metal pulley. And it's slotted as you can see. So if I ever had to take the power steering pump off for that assembly area, I don't have to pull it off and mushroom it a whole bunch of times because I lost my piece for the pulley part here. So I have to use a hose clamp to get it off and it's kind of a pain in the butt. So we're going to get this sucker uh, pulled apart and put a new power steering pump in my car because it sounds like I have like a rod knock and it's kind of, kind of annoying, honestly. So I'm going to get this these tools figured out here and we're going to show you how to uh, get the air out of the system put new fluid in it and rock and roll as they would say alrighty so y'all can probably hear that it shouldn't be like that so now when it starts idling and the serpentine starts moving it just starts squeaking and banging and whole bunch of nonsense and it's also been dripping so I already knew it was worn out so we're just gonna pull this one off real quick I'll kind of show you how mine are set up because mine are set up with I made a custom AN line <sighs> this may take a little bit I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I'm just gonna drop it. Ring pump. And that's my squeak. Um she has definitely seen better days, but it's just a plastic coated thing but over here this part right here wants to mushroom all the time and I don't have it's just a pain in the butt so now with the old in with the new but on mine you take that piece off I mean it's got play luckily it's only three tins and it slides you right out so let me go grab those three tins real quick I got power steering fluid all over the place that's not cool. Get them three tins out and we're good. Got one out, two out. Eh. That one didn't want to really come out, but it's coming out regardless. So the reason why I'm doing it outside of my shop is I don't want hydraulic fluid on that concrete because I'm about to fill in the cracks. So we're doing it like in the awning of the garage. <clears throat> but I really don't like bending over this thing. It's too low. Come on. From there, it would just slide right on up. Uh, I'm trying to save as much fluid as possible. to loosen one of the bolts for my bracket because it's squeezing it pretty tight. If I'm not mistaken, the 13s. Okay. I'll just break this loose. Much better. I'm just going to kind of feed it out. Okay. All right, so my pump is out now. I'm going to loosen the, the points here real quick. Um, 
The problem is I'm trying to save as much fluid. This is brand new fluid. So what I'm gonna do here is cut the zip tie. Won't be needing that anymore. All right, so pretty up in there right now. I'm gonna take the Phillips head off first because it's the easiest one to really do. And I'm gonna try to flip it upside down, attempt to. Caught it, saved it, got my finger over it. Now I'm gonna take my uh, wrench over here and bust this A in line loose. I'm too poor for AN wrenches. <sighs> Should be loose enough. It is. get it to come out. <sighs> Alright. Okay, so as you can see I have a uh, fitting on here, an orb fitting to an AM line. I keep the OEM style from my pump to my uh, AMC steering column. Um, let me put this somewhere it's not going to make a mess. All right, so here's our new one. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. We're just going to put it back in the car. But, like, it's got a little shaft playlist. Like, that's all it's got. Kind of hear it. It doesn't sound like a, a diesel rod knock. But, it is obviously dry. So what we're going to do is we're going to get it on here, take my electric ratchet and put a hex head on here, and we will bleed the air out once I get it mounted. But it's got a little assembly lube in there it looks like. So let me get some more gloves, I'm going to pour this old in real quick, put it on this hose and then go from there we'll see if it fixes our issue I really hope it does because I would hate to have done this for no reason I've got this kind of draining out into the new one I put the return line hose the low pressure hose back on tightened it up that's a pain in the butt to do I'm gonna let this do this real quick get some gloves take it off drain the rest of it in there I mean it's brand new fluid so and then uh, we'll take this orb fitting off and put it on the new pump Well, I'm probably not going to be able to until that drains, because I'll have to put it on the ground, so that's okay. Oh, well. I kind of have to stop now, because it's going through the overflow. Let's put this on the table, break it off real quick. All right, we got our adapter to put A in line. We'll just dabble that on and just kind of hand thread this on so I can keep from making a mess mess. It's probably too late for that though. A 
the end line is tight. Power steering pump still needs to drain though. Let's get this old, new old fluid in. Crack this open. Then pour. Now while this is draining, I'm gonna just get my hand on the shaft here and just kind of start turning it. Get all the air bubbles out. Just slowly. You can see the bubbles in there just from the pump end to that. And it's not hard to turn, so I mean, it's not rocket science. You just turn it. On this new pulley pump, they say there's like a, it's gonna be a one and fourth inch left over here that sticks out compared to the other one. But it just goes on like a normal one would. And uh, we use this tool right over here. Where's my tool at? Right here. Basically it threads into the pump and then you hold this thing and crank this sucker down until it pushes on, presses on. Not really hard to do, just takes a really long time. Then I'll put the serpentine belt on, make sure it's flush or level. And we'll spin it some more and see if it squeaks. And I don't know if you guys can see it down there, but it's kind of obviously pushed way forward compared to the alternator and the water pump here. And all we're gonna do now is just tighten it down until we get it flush on there. So we'll use the pulley here. It looks like it's going into mushroom. We don't want that. Alright, after fighting it and the GoPro dying, I finally got it on there. Now I'm getting it somewhat figured out. I'm having to use a Phillips head, go through under here and hold it on the ICT bracket because the, the pulley is now soaked in power steering fluid. But now, just kind of tightening it on in there, getting it lined up. I hate press fittings, I really do. Just a hair. Okay, so let's start it up real quick and see if we're good. Make sure the serpentine's not waving up there. And if that's good, then I think we're good. Should not have took as long as that. Can't even talk straight. That shouldn't have took as long as it did, but that's the life of a project car. I'm gonna leave the tool threaded into the pump just in case, but from the looks of it, we're looking pretty lined up.
Well, that was it. It was a little harder than I thought it was going to be because I didn't have the pulley lined up. I pushed it too far in, um, pulled it out, fixed my issue. So now we should hopefully don't have a dripping power steering pump. It may drip a little bit from the mess I made. I'll have to clean it up. But I'm on a time crunch because my buddy's getting married in like two hours. So I'm going to put the hood on this car and go there. So, yeah. Out with the old mushroomed up plastic piece of crap. In with the new one. Just got to pull this tool off and we're good to go. That's it for now. See y'all later.